Exodus chapter 3 beginning in verse 11. I kind of said some things wrong this morning and I apologize about that and take them back. I spoke a little bit about Moses when he's speaking to God saying this was after this and after this and after this. And got home and I read some more. So well, it wasn't after that. But what happened was as I studied earlier during the week and all the way up through uh, Sometimes Saturday and quit studying, and then Saturday night we watched the Ten Commandments with uh, the kids, and uh, and uh, it was a cartoon, and it didn't start with the Ten Commandments. It started all the way back at Egypt and the Pharaoh. But, boy, my mind had progressed through, through the whole thing, you know. And when I got up to preach this morning, I was already I was already in the Promised Land. Amen. So uh, went back, and I knew I wanted to. Uh, to go a little further in chapter 3 tonight, as I read a little bit, I said, man, <laughs> this morning I was in the promised land, now I'm all the way back before we even talked to the Pharaoh, so let's, let's get back to there, and, and we'll start. Verse, uh, verse number, let's go to verse 10, it says, now go, this is the Lord talking to Moses, he says, now go, for I am sending you to Pharaoh. You must leave my people, Israel, out of Egypt. And Moses, boy, can you imagine now? He's not only looking at a bush that's burning, he just got told he was going to go back to Egypt in the face of Pharaoh. Moses protested God and said, Who am I to appear before Pharaoh? Who am I to lead the people of Israel out of Egypt? And God answered, I will be with you. And this is your sign that I am the one who has sent you. When you have brought the people out of Egypt, you will worship God at this very mountain. But Moses protested. If I go to the people of Israel and tell them, the God of your ancestors has sent me to you, they will ask, what is his name? And what should I tell them? God replied to Moses, I am, I am. I am who I am. I am who I am. Say this to the people of Israel. I am has sent me to you. God also said to Moses, Say to the people of Israel, Yah Yah Yahweh, the God of your ancestors. Did I say that right? Yah Yahweh. God of your ancestors, the God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, and the God of Jacob has sent me. To you. This is my eternal name, my name to remember for all generations. Amen. Now, Moses, as I told you, is having a pretty shocking day. Will you give me that much? Amen. He's, he's, he's taking in a lot. But you know what? At this very moment, Moses is having to believe in two things. Number one, he's having to believe in who God is. And that God is the God of creation. And God is God of power. And God is God of ability. That God is God. I mean, at this time, they called a lot of things God. Pharaoh claimed himself to be God. So when, when he's looking at this bush and... and He's having to make a decision in his belief that the God he's talking to is the God of all gods. The God of everything. And that's where we get, and that's what he's talking about. I am. I am God. I'm, I'm the only God. I don't know who else is calling himself God, but I'm him. So Moses is taking on that belief, but he also is having to believe in himself. Do you understand that? God, now, just uh, 30 seconds ago, he was tending to sheep. Okay? You understand that? That's a pretty relaxing job most of the day. Okay? He's, he's tending to sheep. The next thing you know is the bush is burning and it's talking to him. And not only, now, let's take, I'm, I'm trying to put this in real terms for you. 
Because I want you to see through Moses' eyes or, or, or see the best we can through Moses' eyes. Now, a burning bush is talking to him and claiming that he should go back to Egypt. Now, you remember that Moses came from Egypt and Moses got kicked out of Egypt. You remember that? So, he's going back to a place that he's been kicked out of and at the time he was kicked out of, the Pharaoh that is Pharaoh now was a prince. And he don't like Moses at all. You understand that? Amen. So Moses is not only taking on the belief of God and who God is and what God can do, but he's taking on the belief of himself. He's just been asked something to do that he's been avoiding for a long time. <clears throat> all these years... Moses has went in every direction but to Egypt. He's raised a family outside of Egypt. He has begun a whole new life. He had, had pretty well made up his mind in decisions of life. He wasn't going back to this place. And this is a perfect picture of a lot of us today. Even myself. I don't know if you'll see it. But I see it. I see myself right in this passage. I can believe in God. And Moses took off of that mountain a true belief in God. He made a decision to believe that that bush wasn't something he was just seeing. An hallucination. He made up his mind that that bush was really burning and it wasn't being consumed. And by golly, there was a voice coming from it and it was God. That's what he come down and he told everybody else. Amen? Amen. So I said, y'all will see what I see today. Amen? It was God, and He is the God of all. He's my God. He was the God of Abraham. He's the God of Isaac. And He's my God. Amen. He come down with a belief that who had spoke with Him was God of all. And you know what? That's just like us today. We get saved and praise God. We don't have a trouble. It just we don't seem to have a trouble of grabbing a hold of the belief in who God is and what God can do. I believe with all my heart tonight that God divided the seeds. I don't have a question in my mind, not one single bit, that God divided the seeds. And the Israelites went across that. Well, that water on dry land. Amen. I believe that. And I believe when they got to the other side, Moses laid down his staff in the way the water crashed in and no one survived. I believe it killed all those Egyptian soldiers. Amen. I believe Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego stepped into a fire and come out without a hair burning. Amen. I believe that. I believe that the fourth man that was seen was God. Amen. I just don't have any trouble at all believing in what God can do. I think I, that's a blessing to me. That I don't even debate it. I don't even challenge it. And I, I don't, I'm just thinking, woo, that's so good. Man, I love to hear what God's done. You don't have to convince me of it. I love to hear it. And that's most of us. Most of us, I believe in this church, we just believe in what God does. Is what God does. I believe that God protected Daniel all night long. I believe that Jesus Christ walked on water. I believe all those things. I believe God created me. I believe my very existence is based on the power of God. You know, we can grab a hold of all these things. Just as Moses believed he was talking to God in a burning bush. He didn't stop and say, I have now lost my morals. This is the day that I went crazy. What he did is he believed 
in God and what God does is what God does. Mm -hmm. He didn't say, hmm, how did God do this? He just said God did. Mm -hmm. But at the same time, listen very carefully because this is in your life probably as it is in mine. I find it a lot of times. I find myself in this very picture. He's seen God and believed in God but didn't believe in himself. 